Hello lovely people, it's Alex from Nintendo Life here, and I'm here to talk to you about the fact that Retro Studios have apparently released their own Twitter account, which is a first for the company. There's no confirmation yet whether it's a real account, an official one, or whether it's just somebody having a bit of a laugh, but we'd like to remain hopeful. You can check out in the description, there's a link to some full coverage on Nintendo Life, and also a link to the Twitter account in question. So what could this mean? We know that Retro Studios are currently working on a new title, but we don't know whether it's for the 3DS, we don't know whether it's for the Wii U, and we don't know what franchise it is. So far for Nintendo, they've developed Metroid Prime, Metroid Prime 2, basically all the Metroid Primes, and they've also done Donkey Kong Country Returns and Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. They also helped out a little bit on Mario Kart 7, which is worth noting as well, so Nintendo seems to be very comfortable with them working with their IPs. Retro don't have any of their own IPs, as far as I'm aware. We know that they're working on something at the moment, but we just don't know what it is yet. Could it be a new Metroid Prime? And I think that's what a, a lot of people are hoping for, or another game not necessarily in the Prime series, but still Metroid. They've also had a number of cancelled projects, such as Raven's Blade, which was released at E3, I say released, I mean shown at E3 in 2001, but unfortunately never saw the light of day. Could we expect to see a brand new IP come from Retro Studios? It's probably less likely, because Nintendo so far, the Wii U hasn't been doing exceptionally well, so they're probably going to try and want to push as much as possible their own franchises, and if they do have Retro Studios under their thumb, metaphorically, and also that sounds a bit nasty, I'm sure they've got a lovely relationship, then chances are we're probably going to see another Nintendo IP come from this. Not necessarily a new IP, but one of the existing Nintendo IPs in a new game. I mean, it's strange things have happened. Who thought that Donkey Kong Country was going to make a comeback? Personally, I'm hoping for another Metroid Prime game, because that series was just outstanding. I mean, I love the Metroid games to pieces, but the Prime series managed to take the the side-scrolling and put it in first person and made it work. I mean, it still felt like a Metroid game entirely, but it was this entirely new experience and it was absolutely mind-blowing for the time. And also to get those graphics out of the GameCube was one horrendous feat, I'm sure. It would also be a great way to really utilize the gamepad, this thing here, as much as possible, because at the moment it's doing okay, but um, I feel that we haven't really reached the. We, I feel that we haven't reached the full. I feel that very few games have realised the true potential of this thing here. One of them being Zombie U. That game was a launch title, was an exceptionally well crafted game. It was a little bit light on the content, but you know it was a launch game. But it made such good use of this gamepad, and I'm so disappointed that we've seen so little of this little beast since. Yes, the gamepad has been used for certain titles, but I mean, it's always, you know, sort of, oh, you get a map on the screen, oh, you've got some touch controls. It's not like using it as a second screen as it should be, you know, similarly to the 3DS and the original DS, and it's not the same because you have to physically look down as opposed to just being able to glance with the 3DS because the screens are so much closer, but I still feel that there's a huge amount of untapped potential there, and I honestly think if anybody can do it, it's going to be retro. Of course, the other possibility is that it could be a new Luigi's Mansion game. Now, we're not basing this off of any real evidence per se, but the only tweet that they've actually done which isn't a reply to someone is the word peekaboo, which is very sort of typical of the Luigi's Mansion franchise, so it's a possibility, but we're not putting money on it just yet. So what are you lot? make about all this. What do you think we're going to see from Retro? Is this Twitter account real? Let's hope so. They haven't tweeted that much at all, really. It seems to be mainly replies to other people, which doesn't really bode well for it. But we can we can live in hope, and we know that they're working on a project at the moment, so it's just a case of waiting to see what that is. And that's going to be bloody exciting. I mean, I'm excited already. I'm sure you are as well. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to check out NintendoLife.com for all sorts of lovely Nintendo-related content. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.